Hello everybody, so I have another thing that I'm building here today, and this is a tileable, well, however many blocks this is, by however many blocks this is, um, design of a timer. It can also be a pulser because it outputs the correct number of ticks for a hopper to tick a few times. So let's just take a look at this real quick. So um, there should be an item in here. Yeah, all right. So this is basically what it does, and it's all tileable. So one, two, three, and that can be adjusted by the top and that sort of thing. But I'm just going to get into how building this and exactly how it works and why it works and that sort of thing. So the first thing I want to do when I'm building this thing is, this is not technically part of the build, um, but the input needs to be two ticks long. Um, so as you might know, but this is a sort of monostable circuit. It's actually kind of like a duo stable circuit. But when an item is in here, when an item goes in here and it's pushed up, it will take one tick to go up and one tick to come back down again. So that's the point of that. Um, so I'm just gonna, there's two com parts of this on how to build this, and I'm just gonna get this done really quick, and I'm just gonna show you exactly how it works. So the signal splits here, and it goes into two parts. The first part is a timer, is like the ti sort of a timer signal extender. It's like what creates the, the pulse. So, um, uh, all right, so, Right here, I have a um, I have this little timer setup thing, and um, over it there will and on the other side is that, and there's a and there's hoppers below here, and this is what creates the output of a steady signal. So um, when I want a steady signal, I can just I this is the output right here. I am rambling so hard right now. So, right here is the output, and there's when th there's items in here, or when there's items in anywhere, there's actually going to be three, so that was perfect. When there's three, the items don't really do anything in there, they don't output a signal. But when this block is pushed over to this side, it will create a steady signal. And what, we, what the point of this is to try and do is to try and get this to this block to stay over here for a certain period of time and then come back so um, that can be done fairly easily by just creating a separate uh, thing that's just put on top that will trigger the um, piston later so on top so this is where the signal splits right here and I have a block on top of here and this is where the second part starts so this is a sticky piston because this block needs to be able to be uh, this redstone block needs to be able to retract and that sort of thing so right on top of here is going to be your output so this this thing can be extended back way far and it will make the uh, timer that that much longer so right here is that's your output and um, let's just get this block back over and so what this will do is we'll unpower and then repower a little bit later and what that allows time for to happen is this thing to for this block to have a certain amount of time over here and this to stay there the three items are in there you know, notice three is because in order to create a triple pulse from these thing from the hopper dropper combo or the, the hopper timer combo thing, um, three items will take a longer time to diffuse, I guess, back into the other hopper than just one would. So that's basically all there is to this. You have to, so I'll just model this on another one. So that's all there is to building it, but there's a different, depending on how many ticks this is, it will have a different um, value for the output. So there's, Right now it's going to be three. One, two, three. Oh shoot! Do I have three items in here? I'm pretty sure that was three. Let's try this again. Ah, one, two. Th I think this is just server lag, but trust me, it does work. I just don't think I can see it because of the server lag. One, two, three. Yeah, there we go. 
yeah, it's just server lag and visual updates and that sort of thing. But if I change this on top, if I change this to 1, then it will just output a, a pulse of 1, which is kind of useless. But at least it will be like a double tick or so of this amount of time. Um, the next thing that you level up is 5 ticks, I believe, and that will create a double pulse. If this if the server stopped lagging, it would create a double pulse. There we go. So that creates a double pulse, and that's basically all there is to this. But the beauty of this is that it's tileable one wide, so you can stick a whole bunch of machines that are independent of each other, that require independent timing, and that sort of thing to be put right next to each other, so that you can um, easily trigger each one separately. So like, I don't know, whatever whatever the idea is. But that's all there is to this concept and um, it's just hard to design so I figured I'd share it with you guys all right so I hope you guys enjoyed leave comment like subscribe all those shenanigans all right see you guys later